Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the labor costing chapter. Now this is the video number three and in this video we are going to focus on the bonus or incentive plans, right? Halsey premium plan, Halsey via premium plan and Rowan plan. Now in the previous two videos we have seen labor turnover, right? And the three methods of calculating labor turnover rate. And then in the second video we started off with the methods of remuneration. We are done with time rate system. We also started piece rate system. We completed a straight piece rate system and then we completed the Taylor's differential piece rate system and also merit differential piece rate system but we haven't seen the gen task bonus plan because that is not that much important from the exam point of view so we'll see that later okay so now in this video in this third video as i said we are going to start with the bonus plans right so the first plan we have is halsey premium plan and then halsey via premium plan and then row one premium plan now before going ahead with the formulas and solving the problems first you have to understand what is standard time what is time taken and what is time saved see it's very simple it's just common sense see the standard time is the time that is allotted to the workers like how you are allotted three hours to complete your exam right similarly here the workers are allotted time to you know complete the production of one unit that is called standard time and then the time they actually take yeah the time they actually take that is called time taken and then if they complete the production of one unit you know in less than the standard time yeah for example if the standard time let's say is five hours five hours were allotted to complete the production and let's say the worker took only four hours to do that that production then the time saved would be one hour simple five hours was the standard time he completed the production in four hours then he has saved one hour right isn't it yeah so that is called time saved simple you clear with this yes now let's go to the formulas of these plan halsey premium halsey via premium plan and rowan plan yeah let's go to the formulas now here we have got the formulas of these bonus plans or the incentive plans whatever you want to call it right so see the first thing that you have to understand is the logic behind these formulas it's very simple to understand see here now this worker is working for a company right and you know he is getting his work done in less time than the standard time yeah i just gave you the example right previously what i told you that if the standard time is for example five hours and the worker is getting it done in four hours right then he's saving the time one hour then this saving of the time it's very essential for the company yeah the cost of the company will be reduced isn't it time saving is a very important thing in a company yeah in a business so that's why it's very important thing so the worker should be rewarded for that they are getting you know the work done in less time that's called effectiveness yeah so they will get their basic earning that is how many hours they have worked time taken into time rate yeah based on the time basis they will get their basic earning but now they are saving the time also and that's a very good thing so for that they will be rewarded with the bonus or incentives yeah so how will that be calculated that's the thing over here right so in each of these plans you will see there is this component see here tt into tr tt into tr tt into tr what is this this is the basic earning time taken into time rate time taken into time rate time taken into time rate see here tt time taken tr time rate yeah the basic earning they are entitled to the basic earning but then depending upon the plans which the company is using the bonus plans the bonus will be different the basic earning will remain the same but depending upon the bonus plans which the company is using you know to calculate the bonus for their workers the bonus would be different so the second part is the bonus part this this and this simple now let's see the formulas here it's very simple see here in wholesale premium plan what we have earnings is equal to time taken into time rate how many hours the worker has worked into the time rate yeah you know what is time rate right plus what you have to do time saved how much time is saved into time rate into 50 percent simple yeah this is what is wholesale premium plan yeah how much time they save they will get 50 percent of time rate simple and then in wholesale via premium plan what happens is the same thing time taken into time rate yeah this component will always remain the same the basic component plus time saved into time rate into 30 percent only difference between this plan and this plan is 50 percent 30 percent that's it it's very simple yeah right because it's very easy to understand right the bonus part why are they getting bonus they are getting the bonus because they are saving the time that's it time saved into time rate 
time saved into time rate. Here 50, here 30 percent. Right. Then we have got row one premium plan. In row one premium plan, if you can see, the first part is same only time taken into time rate. How many hours they have worked? How many hours they have taken to complete the production into time rate? Yeah, that would be given to you in the question. Plus, then what you have to do, you have to remember this part. It's very simple. See here time saved divided by standard time now you know what is time saved right how much time do they save and then divide by standard time the time that was allotted to them yeah into time taken into time rate yeah so see here time taken into time rate time taken into time rate the same thing is there just this thing you have to be careful about so how will you remember this see here, it's very simple all you have to remember is t s s t yeah t s s t you see this this is how you have to go about this okay simple right so now let's solve the problem and once we solve the problem you will feel this is very easy okay don't get confused with this formulas the basic part will always be the same yeah and just in row one premium plan there is a chance of messing up the formula because here what you can do is you can take st above and you can take that down yeah that can happen so that's why always remember this tsst you will never make a mistake all right Okay, then let's go to the problems. Now here we have the simple problem to start off with. See here, calculate the earnings of a worker under wholesale premium plan and row one premium plan, right? So they have given us time allowed or standard time, 56 hours, time taken, 48 hours, and then rate per hour, rupees two. Fine. So now first let's calculate the earnings of this worker under wholesale premium plan, right? So see the formula over here. We know the formula, it's very simple. Earnings is equal to time taken into time rate, the basic part, and then the bonus part, the bonus part is plus time saved into time rate into 50%. This is wholesale premium plan. If it was wholesale wear premium plan, then here this would have been 30%. We all know that, right? Yes. So see here, now let's just fill the formula. Time taken is 48 hours. Time rate is rupees 2 per hour, right? Plus time saved. What is time saved? How to calculate time saved? To calculate the time saved, all you have to do is standard time minus time taken. Okay, standard time minus time taken. See here, the worker was allotted 56 hours to do the complete production. How many? 56 hours. But he did it actually within 48 hours. He took only 48 hours. So minus 48, right? So he saved how much? 8 hours. 56 minus 48, that is 8 hours. So 8 hours would be our time saved. And then time rate is the same rupees 2 and then 50 percent so now let's just put that into calculator it's very simple 48 into 2 48 into 2 that is equal to 96 the basic earning is 96 right and then the bonus let's do the bonus see here 8 into 2 into 0 0.50 yeah that's the 50 percent so that is equal to rupees 8 yeah 8 into 2 is 16 16 half of that rupees 8 so the bonus is 8 rupees and the basic earning is 96 so 8 plus 96 that is equal to 104 104 is the total earnings under wholesale premium plan and then we have row one premium plan let's go there right so row one premium plan how we do that the formula first earnings is equal to the basic part is the same thing yeah time taken into time rate plus this part you have to remember it's very simple plus then what T S S T. You remember that? And then you just have to put a fraction. T S S T, right? Fraction. So time saved divided by standard time. And then the same thing, time taken into time rate. Simple. The formula is very simple. So now let's fill the formula. Time taken is 48, time rate is 2. That would be same only. 48 into 2, yeah, 96. The same thing. The basic part won't change. Only the bonus will change, right? So 96 will be the same thing, just like here, right? Plus the bonus part, time saved we know, 8 hours only, right? 56 minus 48, that was 8 hours. So 8 hours divided by 56, standard time is 56, right? The time that was allotted to the worker, how much? It is 56. And then what time taken into time rate? The same thing, 48 into 2, time taken into time rate. 48 into 2, yeah, now let's put that into calculator, right? See here, 8 divided by 56, that is equal to how much? some decimals right into 48 that is equal to some decimals again into 2 that is equal to 13.71 yeah 13.71 so 13.71 is the bonus and the basic is the same just add them two together plus 96 that is equal to 109.71
yeah simple so this is how you have to calculate the total earnings under wholesale premium plan and row one premium plan it's very simple if you you know understand the logic behind the formulas and you know the technique then it's very simple right easy right this is how you have to do it shall we see one more problem okay now here we have the second problem see here it's very simple calculate the earnings of worker under wholesale premium plan and row one premium plan right and the first thing that we have been given is working hours per day eight hours now what is this this is the time taken tt yeah how many hours are there working hours in a day for that many hours the workers will work so that is the time taken understood and then we have got normal wages per hour rupees 15 this is the time rate rupees 15 per hour right and then we have got standard time per piece 20 minutes yeah this is the time that is allotted to the workers to produce one piece yeah 20 minutes that's the standard time now this is not the standard time which was there in the previous question in the previous question which we had the standard time that was for the whole output not per piece here per piece standard time is given so the main thing of this question is this only yeah how to calculate the earnings under halsey and rowan premium plan when the standard time is not given directly yeah standard time per piece is given yeah so see yes very simple then we have got actual output per day 26 pieces now what we have to do is the first thing we have to calculate the standard time for 26 pieces the whole output yeah because that is the standard time we will be using in the rowan premium plan okay so see it's very simple to calculate it's common sense if the standard time per piece is 20 minutes then for 26 pieces all you have to do is just multiply 26 pieces are there yeah and for each piece standard time is 20 minutes then you just have to multiply it into 20 yeah so 520 minutes is the what the total standard time for 26 pieces how many 520 minutes 520 minutes but we need it in the form of hours right because here all the calculation is in the hours so you just have to multiply it by the 60 60 minutes yeah because in an hour there is 60 minutes so to convert it divided by 60 then you will get what in form of hours that is 8.66667 right so we'll take it as 8.67 hours simple very simple yeah so this is the standard time for 26 pieces all we did was 20 into 26 yeah we got 520 as our what minutes the total standard time then we divided it by 60 minutes to convert it in hours 8.67 hours and then we have to calculate time saved right so how will you calculate time saved simple standard time minus time taken how much time was allotted in how much time they have completed the production the time taken so standard time we just calculated the whole that is 8.67 hours minus the time taken time taken is given in the question isn't it working hours per day yeah eight hours so that's the time taken so 8.67 minus 8 that is equal to 0 0.67 hours this is the time saved now once you are done with this now you can easily apply the formulas and calculate it through the wholesale and the row one premium plan so see yes first we have to go with the wholesale premium plan so the formula is simple basic plus bonus time taken into time rate 8 into 15 time taken is 8 and time rate is 15 so just multiply those two together 8 into 15 see here 8 into 15 that is equal to 120 so 120 will be the basic and then the bonus we have time saved into time rate into 50 percent right so time saved is what time saved is 0 0.67 hours right here at the bottom so 0 0.67 time saved into the time rate 15 it's here 15 into then 0 0.50 that's the 50 percent so if you multiply all that together then you get the bonus as 5.025 yeah then you just add it with the basic plus 120 then the total earning under wholesale premium plan is equal to 125.025 yeah yes then we have rowan premium plan now in rowan premium plan you remember that right the formula it's very simple time taken into time rate the basic part and the bonus part how will you do the bonus part simple tsst and the fraction between them yeah tsst time saved divided by standard time into the same thing time taken into time rate simple formula man simple formula right so then this part will be the same the basic part 8 into 15 120 yeah the same thing right then plus here this thing will change the bonus will change so time saved is 0 0.67 hours yeah 0 0.67 hours divided by standard time standard time is 8.67 hours yeah 
into the same thing 8 into 15 time taken into time rate right now you just have to put that into calculator now the basic thing is directly 120 because we already know that we have calculated that over here in the whole say now this thing you have to put it in calculator so see here very easy 0 0.67 divided by 8.67 that gives you some decimals into 8 into 15 that comes to be 9.27 yeah so 120 basic plus bonus 9.27 add it two together plus 120 right so that's equal to 129.27 easy right so this is how you have to do it it's very simple the only thing that was different in this question was standard time per piece was given we have to convert it into the total standard time for the whole output for the 26 pieces so we just multiplied it with the 26 and divided by 60 to convert it in the hours from minutes yeah that's what we did it's very simple yeah if you have any doubts in this wholesale premium plan row one premium plan just comment down below okay or you can also contact us through instagram yeah okay then see you in the next video